Be cool weather this evening. Absolutely not going to be stopping fans from packing historic NBT Bank Stadium to see the Savannah Bananas. Yeah, not this, but the Savannah Bananas in action. It was a sellout crowd. News Channel Line's Maddie Mustin was also there to see what all this excitement was about. MBT Bank Stadium is used to baseball, but not like this. The Savannah Bananas brought their version of baseball called Banana Ball to Syracuse. And while fans will experience the game, the entertainment seemed to be the reason for the hype. Probably if they do any TikTok dances, all the dances and stuff. The Savannah Bananas have over 7 million followers on TikTok and have grown quite the following in the last year as they embarked on their Banana Ball World Tour in February. Their stop in Syracuse sold out in hours, and over 10,000 fans have been waiting for a while to see the Bananas in action. I found out they were coming here for, like, last month, so we ordered the tickets, and I found out we got them, like, like three weeks ago. Jackson Olsen has the biggest following on the team, with 1.5 million followers on TikTok, and he says that he knows how much this tour stop meant to their followers. This is really cool. Um, I know that Syracuse has been a spot that the fans have been patiently waiting for. Um, the end of the year is crazy because all these fans have been waiting for literally eight months since the start of the tour. Well, it meant a lot for the Savannah Banana players to be here in Syracuse. It also meant a lot to the younger fans to watch them play. It, it's really cool. I get to see this. I'm used to, like, normal baseball, so watching, like, this kind of baseball, pretty cool. While the style of banana ball is not for everyone, Syracuse sure went bananas over it. Maddie Mustin, News Channel 9 Sports.